Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be I Burbles Infuriation and yes this is going to be the final I Burbles Infuriation uh, that I will ever do. This is my 55th one uh, because I haven't done one in about a year but I decided to do a quiz uh, instead of what I said to do before because on the update I said I was going to go on Call Mass Games and that I would do either some games that I'd done before, just go through all of those again, or do some new games which have come out to have not Call Mass Games in ages. But I, when I was actually searching up to do that, I found that they've actually, the Truckloader 4 is actually broken, and there's a bunch of other games that are broken, and they've redone the website, and everything is lower quality now for some reason. So, almost games have just gotten worse for some reason, so I decided to do a 2018 quiz, because I thought, you know, it's the end of the year, and this is going to be my Christmas special. I was originally going to do Air Truck and 4 coming out to be that, but I've decided that that's just going to be out whenever it's finished. Like, I wanted to get it out for the end of this year, I don't know if that's going to happen, uh, but I still want to... Uh, gonna have something for Christmas, so I decided to do this quiz uh, instead. Now, I originally tried to do one from the BBC website, but not all the questions were here, so I thought, let's do one that's actually finished. So I decided to go on the Telegraph and do a quiz of the year 2018, 100 questions to put your knowledge to the test. And all of the ones from the BBC were things that I didn't know, so I hope this one uh, will be stuff that I know. It's a time of year when it's good to look back over the previous 12 months and try to desperately recall what on earth happened. Yeah, 100 questions quiz of the year might help. These questions are sourced entirely from material published on the Telegraph in 2018. If you've been paying attention, you have nothing to fear. Well, I might have done. Uh, there are 10 rounds or 10 questions each, and this year, for the first time and following a referendum on Telegraph stuff, there is a Brexit round. God, a referendum on Telegraph stuff. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No prizes for the winners, just a warm glow of self-satisfaction and reassuring knowledge that you have, after all, paid some heat to the world around you this year. And this is my Christmas special, so, yeah. Register to log in. Do, you... do I have to go on to log in in order to do it? So, right, I've done that, so let's go on the first one, uh, which is sports, apparently. Uh, Naomi Osaka won her first Grand Slam tennis title, the US Open, and said her ambition was to be the very best like no one ever was. Which work was she quoting? Pfft, no idea. Wasn't that the one where, um, who was it, where Serena Williams had a massive, like, temper tantrum? And that's not right. This is not fair. This has happened to me too many times. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Probably. Which work was she quoting? Well, be the very best like no one ever was. I'm guessing... Pokemon, maybe? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it actually says if it's right. In fact, I think it was, because it said, like, it was a green, and most people chose that. I don't know. The ball tampering well that engulfed the Australian Test cricket team involved batsman Cameron Bancroft hiding a yellow object down his trousers in the field. What was it? Sticky tape, tube of Vaseline, or sandpaper? Um... Well, test cricket team, what would they be using? Uh, I'd imagine Vaseline. Nope, it was sandpaper. <laughs> oh, it does actually show it, and that's good. Quick step floors, Bora Hansgroch and AG2R Le Mondial were all winning teams at which 2018 event? I have no idea. I doubt it was Tour de France. Quick step, that would be a dancing thing, wouldn't it? Well, there isn't one here. Uh, so I've got Tour de France, Handball World Cup, World Club Cup, that's a bit weird, uh, and European Ten Pin Bowling Champions League. Uh, that one? Uh, no, it's a Tour de France. <laughs> oh god. Underemployed England striker Jamie Vardy infiltrated one of his team's press conferences at the World Cup, pretending to be a journalist. What did he ask of whom? Gareth Southgate, where did you get your waistcoats? Harry Kane, what are the chances of you getting injured soon? Harry Maguire, how big is your head? <laughs> Good God, um, I can't remember. I know I was like following the World Cup quite intently when it was happening, but I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna guess Harry Kane. No, it was Harry McQuire. How big is your head? Nobody had a clue. I had a white English grandmother called Betty said who? Tennis player Serena would possibly. This is not fair. But I don't think it was her. Um, boxer Deontay Wilder, who I think I've heard of. Criticism him. No, it was that critical. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Sebastian Vettel took the Telegraph Award for Best F1 Team Radio Message of the Year with which of these observations from his Ferrari cockpit? There's something loose in Hamilton's brain. I'm sorry, what? Hamilton's amazing. Uh, there's something loose between my legs. There's something loose on the track. I don't know. It took the Telegraph Award for Best F1 Team Radio Message. Oh, um, something loose between my legs. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounds like something that, that he would say. Oh! 
Robbie Williams performed at the opening ceremony of the World Cup in Russia. Born to FIFA, he is from the home of football. Where is that? Uh, Wembley? Stoke on Trent or Accrington? That's Stoke on Trent. <laughs> I don't know. Four West Bromwich Albion players were quizzed by police while on a training trip to Barcelona in February. What was their alleged offence? Spray painting West Brom rule on the walls of FC Barcelona's Camp Nou Stadium, singing Football's Coming Home in the city centre fountain at midnight. I don't think so. Uh, stealing a taxi at a drive through mud tunnels at 5.30 a.m. Uh, I... <coughs> oh, God. Um, I'm quizzed by police. Can't have been something that bad. I don't think they would spray paint. I don't think that would. they would do that. Was it that? Yeah, it was that. <laughs> Sealing a taxi at a drive through at McDonald's at 5.30am. The All England Lawn Tennis Club, hosts of the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament, tournament agreed to spend £65 million on what? Prize money for the next year's tournament. The Next Door Golf Club, New Strawberry Farm. That one? Yeah, it was that one. <laughs> nice. In the aftermath of Europe's Ryder Cup golf triumph of the USA, English player Ian Poulter dressed up as what? <laughs> I don't follow tennis at all. Uh, tennis? Golf? <laughs> I don't follow golf either. Uh, well, in fact, I do follow tennis a little bit, but uh, yeah, definitely not golf. A police box, possibly, or a post box? It's a post box. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, how many did I get out of ten? I got half. Right, pictures. Let's do this one then. What did this lady win earlier this month? That looks like something that's in the Olympics. Eurovision was much earlier, so it wasn't in December. US Open Tennis Tournament. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm going to guess that. No, it was that. <laughs> Who is that woman? I was going to say one of the Trumps, and then they all came up. Uh, I think it's Tiffany. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was going to say, don't they have brown hair? I have no idea. How did Barry the Sea Lion distinguish himself this year? Bit Harry Redknapp. Bit Stanley Johnson. Bit Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> is it that? No, Stanley Johnson. I have no idea. Yeah, that's who won it. Natalie Barziali uh, won the Sierra Fringe Consequences from Israel. I know that. <laughs> Because I, I remember somebody did a video on there like, oh my god, it's so progressive. Ah. Lee, Lee Ridley, Lost Voice Guy, One Britain's Got Talent. What was the name of his Radio 4 sitcom? I don't know. I don't even know he had one. But I remember when he won it, he was so funny. When I realised I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. Ha! Gay! Likeability, ability or irritability. Is it that? <laughs> of course it is. Ability. This sculpture sits on the fourth plinth at Trafalgar Square. What is it made from? Oh, uh, I can't even see what that is. Is that some elephant? <laughs> I don't even know. Was it plaster, date tin, cereal boxes? Looks like plaster. It was date tins. <laughs> Who is that man? That is the chairman of the 1922 committee, because I remember like, a few days ago when there was a vote of no confidence in Theresa May, I saw him. So yeah, that's it. What's this proposed London skyscraper set to become the tallest in the capital nickname? Uh, the lavatory brush, the microphone, the tulip. I heard it be called the dildo. Laboratory brush? I was going to do tulip, and then I thought, oh, I don't know. I need to go for the most crazy ones. Uh, where is this? Lee City Varieties, Alexandria Palace, Wilton's Music Hall. That looks like a music hall. So I'm going to guess that's... No, it was Alexandria Paris. Palace? Paris. Palace. Can't speak. Which car manufacturer made this Paris Motor Show concept car? What logo is that? It's not Peugeot, and it's not Volvo. Volvo, Volvo, Volvo. Oh, well. Got it wrong. What did I get? I got formed. <laughs> right, we're now to style now. According to the Regency Arbiter of Fashion, Bo Brummel, gentleman attending the races at Ascot, should wear wasted black coats and white caravats with what? Breeches, a codpiece, or pantaloons? Can't remember what a codpiece is. Pretty sure I know what that is. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Uh, breeches, why not? God's sake. Uh, <laughs> Burberry uh, Wild London Fashion Week in Feb February with rainbow checked horse blankets, fedoras, or bloomers. I have no idea. Why every time I think it's going to be that one, I then click on another one? I hate this. According to search engine giant Google, online searches for which item increased by 247% during December? Scarves, gloves, or novelty socks? It's probably going to be that one, but is it? Because it keeps on doing this to me. Um, I'm going to guess... Novelty socks you could really search throughout the whole entire year, couldn't you? Or it might be that. It was that. Voucher on summer luxury jewelry collection involves real what preserved permanently by a secret process. Caviar, flower petals, or tears? If I'm gonna guess flower petals, it was. Whose linen underwear was checked for pest infestations before he and it travelled to New York? David Beckham, the late philosopher Jeremy Bentham, or Piers Morgan? <laughs> Is it Piers Morgan? Oh no, it's him. I was going to say, that Piers Morgan, that'd be so funny. What's the first question you should ask before buying an item of clothing, according to Te Telegraph fashion director Lisa Armstrong? 
I don't know, because this is a fashion round, so this is basically a guess. Can I afford it? Does it fit? Can I live without it? Sounds like that. No, it's does it fit. <laughs> what substance does natural dryer Abigail Booth recommend you use if you wish to turn a white wardrobe item icy blue? Woad, whatever that is, coal or red cabbage. Oh, <laughs> um, if you want to turn it icy blue, woad? No, it's red cabbage. How can you use that to turn it icy blue? I have no idea. What, according to the Telegraph's interiors expert, writing in September is the most modern of materials? Concrete, wood, or titanium? I'm going to guess titanium, because wool is very old. Concrete, not so much. So, obviously, titanium. Yes, there's wool. Raphael released a new collection in May inspired by which legendary cyclist? Lance Armstrong, Fausto Copy, Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn! If anybody voted for Jeremy Corbyn, good god. Lance Armstrong or Fausto Copy, Copy, I'm gonna guess him. Uh, no, it's Fausto Copy. 7% of people vote for Jeremy Corbyn, Jesus Christ. What is unusual about skin scheme core kit knitwear from Canada? Made from moose hair, contains cannabis fibre, Temperature controlled via an app. I doubt it's that one. And also doubt it's that one. It might be that one. No, it's apparently it's temperature controlled via an app. Good god, how many did I get? Two, that's about expected for the fashion round. Culture. One of the Collins Dictionary 2018 words of the year was plogging. Which pastime originating in Sweden does it describe? Outdoor sex is an icy plunge pool. <laughs> Jogging while picking up litter. Online promotion of firewood. Plogging sounds like that. No, it was jogging while picking up litter. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Kazurio Tizju 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 won the twenty eighteen Oscar for Best Hair and Makeup. Which film character did he style? Ant Man in Ant Man and the Wasp, Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour, Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. I watched that one. In fact I got it on the D V D. Possibly that one. Is it that one? That was Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. Okay. What is Midaxi? A taxi in which the passenger does the driving, well it's not a taxi then, kind of skirt, a cocktail of Midori melon liquor and Red Bull. I'm gonna bloody click that! Ah! Uh, ab <laughs> <laughs> Abbas Bjorn Ulvius says that he would find it difficult to write one of the group's hits in the post Me Too era. Which one? Does your mother know? Dancing Queen, Knowing Me, Knowing You. Possibly that one? Nice. Uh, <laughs> the Telegraph social media boffins predicted the winner of Eurovision Song, Cost Song Contest by analysing search data. Norway, they said, would romp home. Where did the Norwegian entry come in the voting? Well, it wasn't first. Might have been second. Apparently it's 15th. <laughs> £44,000 was spent on sample bricks before any building work commenced on which pre prestigious site? Buckingham Palace, Albert Square E20, Coronation Street. That one? That was Albert Square. Ah! What kind of meal did Royal Ballet's principal dancer Matthew Ball have to interrupt to make his unexpected debut in Gazelle at the Royal Opera House? State banquet, takeaway burrito, or blow up curry? I don't know. That one? Yes, it was. Which former reality TV personality is to star in the West End production of Dolly Parton musical 9 to 5? Louise Redknapp, Harry Redknapp, Jamie Redknapp. Harry Redknapp? No, Louise Redknapp. I don't even know who any of these people are. The title character of which current West End hit show was the self-described bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman. Well in hell. I don't know. Probably not the Lion King. In fact, wait. Yeah, because Simba was, wasn't he? No, it's happened. <laughs> I don't even know. What was the problem with the tattoo that Emma Watson displayed at the Vanity Fair post -Os Oscars party? It's politically incorrect, that sounds like it. Grammatically incorrect, factually incorrect. No, it's grammatically incorrect. So I want it to be that, because that would epitomise the media right now. How many did I get? Two. Well, isn't that expected? Food and drink. I'll do terrible on this one as well. According to Waitrose annual food trends report, Britons were adding what to their diet in 2018? Four fish? Fermented cabbage? A second lunch? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Sounds like that. Who are what are einkorn, corazon, kamut, and faro? Vegetable derived cocktail bases, ancient grains, or hereditary ju judging families at the Valletta Ice Cream Festival in Malta? No, it was ancient grains. <laughs> so I wanted it to be that one. Scientists have declared that the first lab grown what will be available within two years. Steak, isn't it? Yeah, steak, because they said um, that they were trying to grow meat because then vegans could eat it. Which drink retailing at £9.45 for 500ml became fashionable this year as Whiskey Chaser? As a Whiskey Chaser? 
Seaweed essence, pickle juice, or anchovy squeezings? Seaweed essence? Anchovy squeezings? Which one? I'm going to close my eyes and then pick one. No, I got it wrong. Uh, <laughs> the Clipstone restaurant in London calls a stir with its ice cream infused with the flavour of cannabis, hay, or sweat. I'm sorry, what? That was hay. <laughs> Just say like sweat, that would be horrible. Japanese deli Orad Days in Leamington Spa, the meat bar and grill in Newport St. John restaurant, and the and all British ho-ho houses of all banned what? Cigars, mobile phones, vegans? That would probably be banned ages ago. Mobile phones? Yeah, I was going to say. Joel Robuchan, who died this year at the age of 73, was voted Chef of the Century in 1990. What was his mantra? Eat the truth, taste the real, the customer is always wrong. Well, the 21st century is, uh, whatever his name is, Gordon Ramsay, yeah. So, <laughs> what was his mantra? The customer is always wrong. Oh, eat the truth. <laughs> Although not vegan himself, film star Leonardo DiCaprio this year invested in a plant-based meat company called Nice to Meet You Beyond Meat. I can't believe it's not meat. Oh, come on. Like, seriously, that should be one. <laughs> it's not already. Super Chef Bassimo Bottura of Osteria Francescana in Modena, Italy, celebrates the accidental with his signature disc. What's it called? Oops, I dropped the lemon tart. Blast, I burnt the pie. Damn, this fish is raw. <laughs> I was going to do that! Why? Every time. Every time. Foodies in Melbourne were displayed by which effortful trend this year? Construct your own cappuccino. Scramble your own eggs on toast. Torch your own creme brulee. I don't think it's going to be that. Is gonna be that. No, what? How is it construct your own cappuccino? Is it literally all put milk in and stuff? Three out of ten, of course. Brexit! Well, this is what will do well. Columnist Alison Pearson memorably described the Prime Minister and her checkers plan as a mule flogging a dead horse, I'm pretty sure it was that, fishing without a hook in an empty barrel, polishing a whoopsie with a dirty cloth. Yeah, it was that one. I remember flogging a dead horse uh, phrase. How many countries in the world are trading solely on WTO World Trade Organization terms? Oh, God. Probably 177. How's it none? What? How was Brussels tended to characterise Theresa May's customs proposals? Straight out of Harry Potter, an a a army of plot, magical thinking. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, magical thinking. Yeah, well. Yeah, Theresa May's plan is pretty bad. According to former Brexit Secretary David Davis, post Brexit Britain will not be like Mad Max, Sad Cafe, Bad. <laughs> Mad Max? Oh, yeah, because that's like post apocalypse or something, isn't it? Comedian Marcus Briggs Stoke has found that Brexit jokes are equivalent of laughing gas poison or Viagra. <laughs> Viagra? No, poison. Don't know why I checked. Does I just choose Viagra? But there you go. How many secretaries of state for exiting the European Union have there been this year? Oh God. There's David Davis. Then, well, then he resigned. Then it was somebody else, and then they resigned, and then now it's uh, oh yeah, Dominic Raab. Then he resigned. Now somebody else is there. So I believe it's three. Yes. It's just sad that I know that. But which acronym is the organisation of perpetual background Brexit poster Stephen Bray known? Not out, stay in, so deaf. I don't know. Stay in or not out? I'm so deaf. I don't know. What food-related Brexit advice did Ian Duncan Smith give Theresa May? Cake exists to be eaten. Don't squeeze a sausage at both ends. Snails are best avoided. Probably that because she said, like, have your cake and eat it. Yeah, cake exists to be eaten. What was the name of the UK's pavilion at this year's Venice Architecture Biennale? Continent Federation Island. <laughs> Island? Well, yeah. Brexit was triggered by the activation of Article 50. If a nation wishes to rejoin the European Union, which articles does it need to invoke? I don't know. Won't be 1. 49 or 51. Let's guess 49. That's 49. Why do so many people guess 1? How many did I get? 7. Nice. Nice. That's probably going to be the best one that I do out of the royal family. The next royal wedding, scheduled for next spring, will feature a bride who is currently 51st in line to the UK throne. Didn't somebody get married recently? And it wasn't Meghan Markle. It's Princess Beatrice, I think. Don't know who she is. Don't know who she is. Might be her. No, it's Lady Gabriella Windsor. I don't know who, who on earth she is. Guess how the wedding of Duke and Duchess of Sussex were told that they should not bring mobile phones or other image-capturing equipment to the ceremony, and that they should not wear medals or what? Football, football shirts, dark glasses, swords. Probably football shirts. No, swords. What was the key behind-the-scenes role played by Maria Borello at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex nuptials? What is that? Don't know. Pew placement supremo. Page wine bridesmaid wrangler. Florist. I have no idea. Let's go with that. No, it was page wine bridesmaid wrangler. What is it? What, what is the verb to wrangle? I'm going to search that up. One eternity later. Just found that out, and that is pretty funny. Bishop Michael Curry, who delivered the sermon at the Sussex wedding, also delivered a special blessing before which major British event this year? Wimbledon men's single final, last night at the proms, final Britain's Got Talent. Might be that one because there was the Lost Voice guy. Don't know about that. Could be that. Ah! Oh! 
every time I get it wrong. According to a story by his royal highness at the wedding reception for his daughter, Princess Eugene of York. Yes, that was it. That was the one that was earlier this year. Prince Andrew, Duke of York, once mistook his future son-in-law, Jack Brooksbank, for a footman dog grouse. A dog? And in an ITV documentary, the Duke of Sussex revealed that he panicked at the sight of his grandmother, mice, common people. His grandmother? Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure I saw that. I don't know. According to eBay's annual UK retail report, who was the top royal style influencer this year? Duchess of Sussex? No, the Duchess of Cambridge. Which telegraph staffer was hailed by the Duke of Edinburgh as a genius? I don't know who either of these people are. Apparently it was Matt. Ah, 69, lol. Uh, which, which mode of transport was described by the Queen as horrible and not very comfortable? Probably not that. Not that. Uber? No, the Gold State Coach. She went in, ooh, oh my god. The Bishop of Blackburn confessed to which sin in the course of a sermon delivered in the front of royal family at Sandringham in January. Speeding, looking at his mobile phone in church. <laughs> Why do I always click the silliest ones? What did I get? Two, again, very expected. No longer with us. Oh, we're at Stephen Hawking. Simon Shelton Barnes, who died at the age of 52, played which of the Teletubbies? Poe was somebody from, um, oh, what's the name of that show? That kid's show. Show me, show me. There was a, like, Chinese woman, I think. She played Poe. I don't know, I'm just going to guess. Stinky Winky. <laughs> He's my favourite. Peter Wingard, who died age 90, was fondly known in the acting profession by which off-stage nickname? I think I've heard Pinuta Wine Gum, but I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, oh, apparently I was right. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Which celebrity who died this year was known as the Love Pixie? It went very chuckle. Um, uh, oh. That was a complete guess. Steven Hillenberg, who died age 57, created which much love cartoon? Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember him. Like, he died like, not too long ago, actually. I think at the start of this month. Which musician, who died this year age 60, was on record as loathing inter alia London doctors Jane Austen, Bishio Lai, psychologist The Guardian, David Bowie, Australia Princess Diana, the New York Police Department, and Bob Geldof. Good doff. Diff daff doff. Oh, I don't know. Eddie Clark of Motorhead, don't know. Marky Smith of the Fall. Buzzcox? No. <laughs> Rajmata Krishna Kumari, who died at the age of 92, was the last reigning holder of which title? I don't know. Queen of Sheba? Uh, it was Mariani of Jopa. Uh, in 1965, Peter Boisart, who died at the age of 89, bought a third restaurant in Wardour Street in Soho, London, which, was subse which subsequently did rather well. What was it called? Pizza Express? Yeah, it's Pizza Express. So I say Pizza Hut and Domino's Pizza, they're American. Squadron leader Bruce McDonald, who died aged 88, was in his youth a naval cadet and button boy at the training college HMS Ganges. What does that job entail? Guarding nuclear weapons triggers, standing on top of a 143-foot mast, shining the commander's officer's jacket. Yeah, button boy. Or not. Professor Stephen Hawking, who died at the age of 76, rip, featured in an episode of The Simpsons in which he praised cosmological theory of Homer's. What was it? Donut-shaped universe, theory of beerativity, the big boom. I don't know. Donut-shaped universe? <laughs> I was going to say that sounds like The Simpsons. Ray Hill, who died age 78, was a controversial ba Baptist evangelical preacher and campaigner for gay rights in the United States. Which other calling did he pursue? Cal Rustler, Cat Burglar, Horse Thief. Cal Rustler? No, Cat Burglar. Some of these people. <laughs> what did I get? I got five. It's better than nothing. How many are left? Uh, uh, oh, I was going to say quite a few. Only two. So technology. Who are Tom, Dick and Harry? Don't know, but that's what everybody says. Robot farmers growing wheat for Waitrose. Mars rovers due to land next year and search for water. I'm pretty sure that's something else. Virtual gay men created your test a successor to app grinder. I'm going to say it's that one. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why do 58% of people go for that one? What is special about the town of Moose Cree First Nation in Ontario, Canada? Its local economy is based almost entirely on revenue from online gaming. Town depends on drone deliveries for essential goods. All local services are activated by fingerprint ID. Sounds like that. Yeah, I was going to say. It's, that sounds like, because uh, Canada's quite isolated, so it sounded like that. What are ADA, XLM, and BATS? Coding dialects for game designers, cryptocurrencies, online stock markets. I don't think they're cryptocurrencies. I don't know if it's that. Let's try that. They were cryptocurrencies. Or oh, are. Ah. Didn't know that. I thought there was Bitcoin and something else and something else. Uh, experts estimate that 269 billion of these items are delivered every day. What are they? Memes, tweets, or emails? 
uh, probably tweets, no emails. <laughs> Specialists in rural internet provision have declared that the fifth most common reception problem suffered by British houses in the country is caused by leaves on the line, squirrels, or drizzle. Squirrels? Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I'm pretty sure I heard about that somewhere. I don't know. Archaeologists at University College London have suggested that builders of Stonehenge employed the awesome power of ice, the sun, or the cow. Ice? Which title was awarded Game of the Year at the Game Awards? God of War. Should have been Red Dead Redemption 2. Why wasn't it? Tech analysis have declared that 2018 may go down as the year in which the world reached what? Peak Twitter, peak iPhone, peak email. Probably... I don't think peak iPhone. Possibly peak Twitter, but I think peak email? Uh, no, it's peak iPhone. I was going to think peak Twitter because there's like Twitter and Facebook, they're starting to go in a downward like, spiral right now. In a Twitter post 10 years ago, startup entrepreneur Matt Budolf accidentally named which UK tech hub? Silicon Glen, Silicon Roundabout, Silicon Fen. <laughs> that was a guess, but I've heard of that before, so not really a guess. Which $2 billion, £1.5 million British tech startup is a contender to provide the US Army with aug augmented reality goggles. Also, why is that? Should that should be 1.5 billion? Provide the US Army with augmented reality goggles. I've heard about this, and didn't the guy then go bankrupt? I don't know. Is it that? Yes, it was. <laughs> that was a guess. What did I get? I got six, which I believe was the top one. No, no, the Brexit one. I got seven, I think. Uh, right, last round is on animals. A public relations campaign to promote the message that rats have feelings too launched in which city? London or Paris? That's Paris. Rats have feelings too. Good God. British laboratory was reprimanded by the Home Office after it accidentally exceeded the number of mice that it was permitted to breed. How many? 70? No, one f that many. I was going to say, like, surely they have only a few. Which wildlife related event was witnessed in August this year on Leytonstone High Road in East London? Uh, pigeon eating a python, python eating a pigeon, pigeon eating a pie. I'm going to guess it was that. No, it was python eating a pigeon. I was trying to click that one, and I clicked the wrong one. A Florida woman was denied permission to fly without her emotional support hamster. What does she claim the airline advisor to do with it? Send it head on an Uber. Post it. <laughs> what? Tallulah the tortoise was found alive and well in January, seven months after she escaped from her owner's garden. How far had she gone? A dick car. No, 352 yards. Wow. Experts have declared that 2018 has been the best year since the 17th century for the population of which UK resident creature? The common man, the common mouse, or the common crane? I'm going to guess possibly the mouse or the crane. I know it was the crane. <laughs> I was going to say possibly the mouse because like they could have been killed off by pesticides and they said, oh, don't use the pesticides, it's bad for people, and then they just came back. I don't know. Pub in the village of Mousehole Cornwall was accused of discrimination when it banned an ex-soldier from bringing his pet mice, rats, ferrets. Ferrets? Yes. Okay. Battersea Dogs Home cautioned pet owners against the cruelty of making their pets wear full-body Halloween outfits, fake reindeer antlers, anti-Brexit placards. <laughs> I've seen them wear that, so is it that one? Ah, oh, like I did say there was um, a picture, I might put it on screen if I can find it. And that was a picture of the dog wearing some like Brexit thing. Uh, anyway, according to the University of Exeter, dogs are roughly as clever as chimpanzees, dolphins or pigeons. Dolphins are very clever. Pigeons aren't as much. Champan ch chimpanzees aren't as much. That was pigeons. Yeah, that sounds about right. Proceedings in the cross-country courthouse in Wynn, Arkansas, were interrupted when which animal crashed through a window sustaining only minor injuries? Roadrunner, which I think is a bird. Deer, coyote. Coyote? And that was a deer. <laughs> How can a deer crash through a window? I don't know. I was hoping that I could possibly get high marks on that one, but I only got three. So that was uh, all of the questions. That was a hundred questions. Got most of them wrong, but it doesn't matter. This is the final I Bob's Infuriation. Did I get infuriated with this? Kind of. Yes, they put a picture of Barry Chuckle on there and they never actually showed anything with him. But yeah, just uh, thanks for watching this series. I'm very well aware I haven't uploaded it in a, li a literal year and a half, I think. But I still appreciate the support. This is probably the most fun series that I've ever produced. The reason why I'm stopping it, as I said in my update, is I simply don't have any time for it anymore. And I'm, the reason why I'm only doing this one is because I don't have to edit it as much, because they're normally highly edited and I just don't have the time for that anymore. And it was literally about, about an hour and a half of recording edited down to about a 15 or 20 minute video. So, yeah, it's pretty brutal, but I'm going to yeah end it here with the final video, which is probably, uh, probably about half an hour long, I think maybe even longer. So thank you very much for watching uh, this video in this series. I believe it was the ep 55th episode. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video if you decide to that one as well. Bye. <laughs>